everybody, Jeff Stone here with another episode of MagicReview.com. Today is a special day in the history of MagicReview.com. I got a few things I want to talk to you about, but before we get there, let me just show you some stuff I got in the mail that you might find interesting. Um, I ordered another one of those $4 Rubik's Cubes I've been talking about, or not Rubik brand, but cubes. Uh, this is, um, there we go, the... Yang Jun Guan Long. It's four bucks and it's a great speed cube. Um, and I, if you've been watching my reviews for Cube 3 or Cube FX or the Cube Plus, you'll have seen me mention that you should get one of these if you're going to buy a cube to do any of the effects there. Well, I didn't just buy one, guys. I didn't just buy two. In fact, I didn't just buy three or four or five or six or seven or eight or nine. I bought... 10 of these bad boys, 10 of these cubes. Now they're unstickered as you can see by looking through the little window there, but they come with the stickers. You just, it's a DIY project. You got to put your own stickers on. Um, but I bought 10 of these and you may be wondering what pray tell do you need 10 cubes for Jeff Stone for magicreview.com? Well, because I'm going to be giving some of them away. That's right. I'm going to be giving away to you folks. The guys who keep me excited about writing reviews and videoing reviews. So, I'll tell you more about that in a minute. And by the way, when I say guys, I'm using the generic genderless version of guys because I know i got some sisters out there watching this channel too. So, I appreciate the support from both genders. Anywho, uh, back in the day, if you were a child of the 80s and you had a Rubik's Cube back then, you may remember these guys <laughs> that I almost dropped. Um, let's go for the green screen trick here. Bam. Hopefully that looks cool with a mountain range on it. Um, this is one that's, it's not the one I had when I was a kid, but it's exactly like it. And it's old and beat up and it doesn't twist very well and it's stiff. So I bought a new one. That's right. I got me two of these guys. You can tell this one's the new one. And this one is smooth like a butter. So this is for me, not you. I also bought for me, not you. A uh, two by two, which I've already got one. I have a, a two through uh, seven by seven. In fact, seven by seven is right here. The big sucker. This is, I didn't get this one in the mail today. I've had this one for a while. But um, yeah, the seven by seven, let me get a good, perfect dead on view of that for the green screen. Yeah, bam. Uh, the seven by seven, I can solve that. I can solve all of them. I And I've had a two by two, but the one I had like locked up and it was I was having issues with it. And I learned a new method for solving the 2x2 two two, um, that is a lot faster, but it requires you to be very fast with the cube. And the one I had just wasn't cutting it. The method, by the way, is called the Ortega method. If you're a cube person, um, you know, especially if you're a cuber and you know how to do a T-perm and uh, two look OLL, -O -L -L, uh, and I believe that's it. If you know how to do that, then uh, learn the Ortega method for this. You will not believe how fast it is, man. It's crazy fast. So anyway, check that out. Uh, also, I bought myself what may appear to be just a normal, ordinary cube. But bam, it is not a normal, ordinary cube. That is a 3 by 3 by 4 So it's a little bit of a weird... Uh, it's, they're called cuboids when they're misshapen like this. But um, I do know how to solve this one. Uh, I'm a little bit out of practice. I'd been using my son's and now I got my own. Um, and uh, there's a couple of algorithms you have to learn for that. But uh, anyway, so uh, I do know how to do that one. Uh, what else? Oh, and I got this one is the hardest cube to solve. If you're a cuber, you'll know what I'm talking about. I just got one today. The one by one. <laughs> That's right. The stickerless one by one. It's really hard to solve. The stickers are here, of course. Um, and then last but not least, for those who are totally into cubing, you'll know exactly what these are. They are plastic razor blades for removing the stickers off your cube and restickering. Because all the cube geeks, they sticker their own cubes. Um, and of course, if you wear out the cube after time, you need to replace the stickers. Anyway, so if you've been following this week at all, in the last few days, maybe a little bit into last week, um, I reviewed Cube 3 by Steve Brundage. I reviewed... Cube Effects by Carl Hine and John George. And then I reviewed The Cube Plus by Takamiz Usui. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. And um, you might also have seen, uh, it just went live maybe an hour ago or something. 
the comparison of the three products. Uh, and again, it's not like a which one's better. It's just looking at them side by side so you see what they have in common, what they don't have in common, what's you know what are the differences and whatever, so that you can see what it is you're looking for that fits your repertoire. Um, in each of those reviews, you may remember I said you need one of these cubes. You need a cube. Um, and uh, th the problem is, you know, if you don't have one and they can be expensive, except for this freaking awesome $4 one is sweet. It's a really good cube. So you can buy these, all this stuff at thecubicle.us. I am not affiliated with them. I don't get any money from them. They're not paying me to do this. Um, but that's where I get most of my cube stuff. And I'll tell you another thing. There's a great Rubik's Cube channel out there called Crazy Bad Cuber. If you go to thecubicle.us and you use his name uh, and the discount codes, you'll get 5% off anything you order there, which I did when I ordered this bunch of stuff. So, uh, Crazy Bad Cuber, check out his YouTube channel. It's great. He does cube reviews, unboxings, uh, um, what do you call them? Uh, uh, tutorials. Man, I couldn't think of the word. Uh, and he does, he does solves like you just watch him solve the cube and he does com voiceover commentary. It's got a really good channel. It's probably my favorite cubing channel. So that aside, um, in fact, let me just tell you one other thing. Watching his cubing channel inspired me to make my review channel. I've been writing reviews for years, but I had not had not been doing videos until a couple years ago. I was completely inspired by him to do the video channel that I have right now. So there you go. That's now you know where the source comes from. Never met the guy. I don't know anything about him other than his name's Dan and he's crazy bad Cuber and he's awesome. So, all right, rambling on long enough. You may remember in the, the videos for these reviews that I told you on these cube reviews, I told you that I was going to be giving away a copy of this. I also mentioned that this requires two cubes to do it and it does not come with the cubes. Well, now it does folks. That's right. Provided by yours truly right here at magicreview.com. I'm going to be giving out the video and the cubes. And again, the stickers are come with the cubes too. So now if you win this contest, you don't even have to buy any cubes. You got everything you need. Two cubes and uh, the video and of course the stickers. So the contest is simple. Head over to facebook.com slash magicreviewed and there will be a post on the top of the page and the post We'll have the instructions in there, which will basically be four things that you got to do. One, like the page. Two, like the post that you're reading. Three, um, share the post, which is the contest post, uh, to your wall. And then four, you'll, there's a question in there that you'll need to answer. And you answer that question in the comments. Uh, I'm going to give you guys about a week to uh, get in there and do all that stuff. And at the end of a week, we'll turn it off. And I will take, uh, just do a random draw of the comments there. All I do is I count up how many comments there are. I feed it into a random number generator. And whatever number comes up, I count down to that comment. And bam, that person wins, assuming they did the other three things. You know, the liking and the sharing and all that. So that's it. That's the contest. Simple. Simple. Yeah. So some of these cubes I'm keeping for myself. I need them. Um, but some of them I don't need. So I'm going to be giving away a couple more. Yes, two more, in fact. This one and this one. Or wait, no, this one. Yeah, this one and this one. <laughs> They're the same. Anyway, I'll be giving these away. Um, same thing, there'll be a Facebook contest. More details to come. I'm going to wait till we clear out the... the um, actually, tell you what, this is what I'll do. It'll be all the same contest. So I'll have three winners. One person will win... This and this, that's one winner. Another winner gets this and another winner gets this. How do you like that? So we'll put it all into one contest. And depending on, on, on these cubes here, I may actually have more than uh, the two, the four here to give away. I might have enough to give away a couple more. We'll see. So I'll put the details in, in, the, in the Facebook post once I figure all the math out. Anywho, so moving on to... Subject number two, uh, there have been some and are going to be more changes around these parts. Uh, first change, um, Magic Reviewed is getting an overhaul. That's right, magicreviewed.com is getting an overhaul. Step one of that overhaul, you'll notice I've been doing all the videos with the green screen now. 
Um, and I've right now you're seeing the lovely Utah snowy mountain range. That will be changing to a banner with the, my logo and everything on it. Brand new logo. I'll give you a quick little sneak peek of it right now. And there it went. That's the new logo. Um, I'll tell you more about the logo as we start incorporating it into the site and everything. The site's getting a complete facelift, completely redesigned. I've already got the design. I just have to build it. I had a designer design it. And now I got to write the code that builds it. So um, that's news number two, I guess. The contest was number one. That's number two. Number three. Um, you guys are familiar with mylovelyassistant.com, I assume. Uh, well, there's been some changes over there. You might remember a while back, Magic Reviewed and MyLovelyAssistant.com partnered up. Well, the partnership has dissolved, and I have acquired the entire site. It now belongs to Stone Cold Magic. And it dissolved. It wasn't like, oh, we had a falling out or anything like that. It was basically Brian, uh, Brian, that's my brother's name, Bryce Coleman and uh, Tracy Atterbury, they decided to retire. They're the founders of MyLovelyAssistant.com. And they have, they've retired from the site. They're done with it. It's, I now have it. It's completely under my control and my power. That's right. Only for the good, folks. Only for the good. There will be some changes over there. You'll see them slowly. There is now a newsletter there, that uh, weekly-ish. We send out a list of all the latest reviews published over there. And just to give you a little bit of detail what that site's about, it's a review site. It's where I used to write reviews. Um, and now I branched off on my own with magicreview.com. Started off on my own with Stone Cold Magic Magazine. Found out about becoming an official reviewer over there, and I became an official a reviewer over there, over there being my little assistant. And uh, after doing that for a while, I became a, a dedicated reviewer directly from Murphy's and getting the product from Murphy's. So I branched off, just had my own site. But I stayed on and I'd occasionally post reviews at, at my lovely assistant. And eventually the two sites partnered up. Well, my lovely assistant, what the deal is over there is it's everybody else writing the reviews. You can write reviews over there. Now, there's two types of reviewers. There's what we call the user, just to anybody, which can be you. If you just go over there and sign up, bam, you can write a review. Then there's official reviewers. Official reviewers, they get free product directly from my lovely assistant. And so if you want to become an official reviewer and you want to write reviews over there, and sign up for that, then you can, you'll can you see how to do that also if you go over there. If not, just shoot me an email or a comment or whatever, and I'll answer questions on how to do that. So if you'd like to become an official reviewer, head on over there and check it out. We don't approve everybody, and there are some pretty strict standards on how who can become one and that kind of stuff. But anyway, the reason I'm bringing that up is because there's also a contest going on over there at mylovelyassistant.com. It's actually on the Facebook page. So head over to facebook.com slash my lovely assistant and you'll see there also a post with the same thing, those same four things. Like the page, like the post, share the post, answer a question. You got about a week that expires on uh, September 23rd of 2015 and the prize is Magic and Showmanship. It's a book published by Dover Publications by uh, Henning Nelms and uh, there you can see a review of it over at mylovelyassistant.com. It got a great, it's got a great review there. Um, so that's one we're giving away for free again, sponsored by Dover. So, um, I think that's all this stuff I've got to tell you. I don't know. seemed like I had a whole lot more, but I guess we'll end there. I mentioned the rebranding of my, of magicreview.com. I mentioned, uh, my love, the assistant changes and all the cube giveaways. So sounds like we're done folks, which means it's time for you to like this video, subscribe to my channel and listen to the random iTunes song of the moment, which is... Oh, man. I love this song. Let's see if you guys recognize this. If you listen, I drink. Remember this? There was a TV show that lasted... I don't even think it made it one season. Back in the 90s... And uh, it was called The Heights. And it was kind of like Friends, if you remember Friends. Very similar, but I think it was a group of mus musicians. And it just never caught on. I really liked it. I thought it was a fun show. Um, but uh, the theme song was called How Do You Talk to an Angel? And if I'm not mistaken, the people in the show 
they were in a band and this their band was called the heights and this was one of their songs i could be totally wrong about that last part but that's what i remember anyway that's a great song how do you talk to an angel flashback to the 90s folks so that's it guys thanks for watching see you all next time when if i remember the way i've got these videos queued up i believe the next review is germay's mind by luke germay thanks for watching folks we'll see you then peace out <laughs>